Hi, this video tutorial I will cover types of array. There are uh, two types of arrays are there. The first one is uh, single dimensional array and the second one is uh, multi dimensional array. Here you can see how to declare a single dimensional array. Data type square bracket and the variable name unarray. Data type and the variable name unarray before that uh, put square bracket. Data type the variable name unarray after that uh, put square bracket. Here you can see how to instantiate a single dimensional array. Left side is uh, declaration part and uh, this part is uh, instantiation part. New data type and you have to mention the size. And here you can see the example. Int is the data type and square bracket variable name unarray equal to new int and size of the int array is 5. Here you can see the another way of initializing the single dimensional array. We will see one sample program now. Here I have declared the class single dimensional array demo 1. It has a main method. First I will run this program then I will explain. This is the output of this sample program. Inside main method, I have created a int array and size of the int array is 5. And here I am initializing int array. I have initialized 5 elements here. Then using for loop, I am getting each element from int array and displaying the output. And here you can see the output. Here I have declared the class uh, single dimensional array demo 2 and it has a main method. First I will run this program then I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. Inside main method I have created int array and I have initialized uh, three elements in the int array. And uh, using for loop I am getting each element from int array and displaying the output and here you can see the output. Here you can see how to declare a multi-dimensional array and here you can see how to instantiate a multi-dimensional array and here you can see the example int is a data type and two square brackets unarray is the variable name new int is a data type and row size is 2 Column size is uh, 3. Multi dimensional array with uh, 2 rows and uh, 3 columns will uh, look like this row 0, row 1, column 0, column 1, and column 2. We can access uh, this element using uh, 0, 0. We can access uh, this element using uh, 0, 1. We can access uh, this element using uh, 0, 2. We can access uh, this element using uh, 1 0. We can access uh, this element using uh, 1 1. We can access uh, this element using 1 2. We will see one sample program. Here I have declared uh, multi dimensional array demo 1. It has a main method. First I will run this program, then I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. Here I have declared a int array which is a multi dimensional array. It has uh, two rows and uh, three columns. And here I have initialized a multi dimensional array. In row 0, column 0, I have assigned 1. In row 0, column 2, I have assigned 3. In row 1, column 1, I have assigned 5. In row 1, column 2, I have assigned 6. Then using for loop, I am getting each element from each row and each column and displaying the element. Here you can see the output. In row 0, column 0, element 1 is there. In row 0, column 2, element 3 is there. In row 1, column 1, element 5 is there. Here I have declared multi dimensional array demo 2. It has a main method. First I will run this program, then I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. 
here I have declared int array which is a multi-dimensional array and I have initialized uh, int array it has uh, two rows and three columns this is uh, row 0 this is row 1 and uh, this is uh, column 0 column 1 column 2 column 0 column 1 and column 2 and using for loop I am getting each element from each row and each column and displaying the element and here you can see the output number of columns in row 0 is 3 and in row 0 column 0 element 1 is there in row 0 column 2 element 3 is there number of columns in row 1 is 3 and in row 1 column 1 element 5 is there and this is about types of array and thanks for watching